some background. Artificial colors and dyes are banned from food in several countries. And in Europe, foods that contain artificial colors and dyes have to have a disclaimer on it that says may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. But what does M&Ms do? They remove all harmful artificial colors and dyes out of the M&Ms sold in Europe, of course. Yet here in the U.S., they continue to market their artificial dyes, artificial ingredients, and harmful ingredients to our adults. All right, so the argument being presented here is that the M&Ms that are being sold in Europe are a superior product to those being sold in the U.S. because of things like banned ingredients, banned colors, and other harmful ingredients. First off, if you're claiming harmful ingredients, you have to specify what ingredients you're talking about and provide evidence that they are harmful at the amounts in foods. Secondly, I would like to point out E153, which is a color used in the European M&M's version. This is a coloring agent that is banned in the US. It's vegetable carbon and it's banned in the US because it's believed to contain hydrocarbons that can cause cancer. So this whole banned ingredients thing goes both ways. And just stating that something is banned, therefore the version without banned ingredients is superior, that's not a science-based argument. And if you're presenting something as being harmful, again, you need to be providing evidence because just stating that it's banned in another country is not evidence. I've shared this resource before, but this just goes over some of the differences in regulations between the US and the EU and explains why some colors might be banned in specific countries and allowed in other countries. And again, this goes both ways. In fact, there are only four color additives approved in the US that are not permitted in the EU, and this includes three synthetic colors. Well, in turn, there are 16 color additives authorized in the EU that are not allowed in the US, including nine colors of synthetic origin. So this kind of goes against the popular narrative here on TikTok, and a lot of people are just repeating what they're hearing on here without actually understanding the facts. And again, just because something would be banned in the US and not the EU, that's not a sufficient argument to say that one is more harmful than the other or one is superior to the other. So of course, I could make a similar argument the other way and say that the US version is superior because the one in Europe contains a banned ingredient. But that's not sufficient evidence to say that one is healthier, safer, or superior to the other. In addition, you could make the argument that milk chocolate in the US can't contain vegetable fats such as palm oil, shea fat. So this version that is being used in Europe actually wouldn't be able to be called milk chocolate in the US because we don't allow that those vegetable fats in the standard of identity for milk chocolate here. I could make the argument that those are unnecessary harmful ingredients in the EU, but if I'm not going to provide evidence, then that is just a baseless claim. I talked about the hyperactivity warning that's required for some specific colors in Europe, and that is based off of over 10 year old evidence that is not conclusive and does not show a causal link between these colors and hyperactivity. Further studies have shown no conclusive evidence, yet they have decided to keep that warning label on their product. We're talking about M&Ms here. One is not healthier or superior to the other.